if you are new here welcome on board on this channel we discuss all things cyber security careers personal development thriving as an immigrant and so much more and in this video i'll be taking you through a step-by-step -step process guaranteed to get you ahead of 99 percent of cyber security professionals in just six months we will go over why you need to be a part of the top one percent how to get started a month by month breakdown of what you need to do plus an uncommon hack that gave me an edge in the early days of my career hey guys my name is Olokwe michael i'm a cyber security expert of close to a decade and on that note let's get started first thing first why is it important to get ahead in cybersecurity? According to Cybersecurity Ventures, there will be 3.5 million unfilled cybersecurity jobs by 2025. That's a massive opportunity. But it also means the competition is fierce. We're just a few months away from 2025, but we have just enough time to get ahead of the crowd. Now, here are the steps you need to take in the next six months. Month number one should be for planning and setting of goals. Like I often tell my students, if you don't know where you're headed, everywhere will look like your destination. It is important to have a very clear idea of where you want to be at the end of this process. Remember, you have only six months. So in the first month, identify your goals. Do you want to become a pen tester or a cyber security analyst or a compliance expert? What do you want to become? Now, if you haven't already, now is the perfect time to define your career path. After defining our goals, we need to do a research, look into certifications like CISSP, CA, CISM, then determine which one best aligns with your career goals. For instance, CISSP is like one of the most desirable certifications in cybersecurity. CEH also is great for those who are interested in penetration testing. CISM is an ideal for management roles and CCSP is becoming more valuable with cloud adoption on the rise. Now, while a degree is valuable, certifications can significantly boost your credibility and expertise. See, report shows that IT professionals with certifications, they earn 22% more than those without certifications. Each of these certifications I have mentioned requires dedicated study and passing a rigorous exam. But the effort pays off in higher salaries and better job opportunities. Trust me, that is something you don't want to miss out on. Another way you can quickly level up in your career is through boot camps. And I say this with the utmost sincerity. The right boot camp can be the turning point that you have been looking for in your entire career, especially if it can help you, number one, gain hands-on experience quickly, determine the right certification for you, and also prepare you towards that certification. Also guide you through your job application and preparation process and so on and so forth. If you can get all of that, becoming a part of the top 1% is even much more easier. But this is something that you can do on your own as well. And that brings me to the third thing that you should do in month one. Create a study plan. Allocate specific times each day or a week for studying. This comes down to consistency, okay? Everything will be a waste if you don't remain consistent. In the second month, you need to start certification preparation. Now that you have your plan, it's time to start studying. I have two suggestions for this stage. Number one, choose your study materials. Use resources like official study guides, online courses, and practical exams. There are thousands, if not millions of free resources online take advantage of them and if you're the type that needs constant motivation to get things done then number two is for you join a study group okay find or create study groups online so that you can stay motivated and accountable you see study groups are also a great place to see the resources that other people have and you don't and then you can also share knowledge for month three, your focus should be on gaining practical experience. Theory is great, but nothing beats real world experience. So to get really hands on, you need to try internships. Apply for internships at companies known for their cybersecurity teams. Even unpaid internships can provide invaluable experience. Capture the flag is another one. Capture the flag competitions is very good. Participate in CTFs to practice your skill in a competitive environment. When I was starting out, CTF competitions were my thing. I would practically take my laptop everywhere with me 
just because of this. And I was doing hack the boss as well at the same time. The other way I quickly got good in my career was by setting a home lab in my house. I set up a home lab to experiment with different tools and techniques. And you can use platforms like Try Hack Me or Hack the Boss for practical exercises. And based on reports and even in my own experience, professionals with hands-on experience are more likely to get hired and they command higher salaries. In month four, it's all about networking and professional development. Networking can open doors to new opportunities and provide you with mentors who can guide you in your career. This month should be dedicated to building your professional network, either by attending conferences and webinars, you know, events like Black Hat, Def Con, RSA conference. They are all great for learning and networking. You need to optimize your LinkedIn profile as well. This platform will also help you connect with professionals. You need to find and join cybersecurity groups so that you can participate in discussions and learn more. Joining professional associations such as isc 2 ISACA, ISSA is very, very important as well. Okay. Becoming a part of groups like this makes it easier to stay ahead of the curve with industry trends and, you know, timely, relevant training, certifications, networking and volunteering opportunities. Hey guys, we go back to the YouTube in a minute. We have a free webinar where we we'll walk you through on how to bag multiple cybersecurity jobs in 90 days, even without IT degree, IT experience or qualification or even certifications at all. Click the link below to join my free webinar. I will see you on the inside. Now back to the video. For month five, what should you be doing? Basically stay updated and continue learning. See, cybersecurity is fast evolving field. Trust me on that. And only those who keep up remain relevant. You can do this by subscribing to cybersecurity newsletters. Some of my favorites include Krebs on security, dark reading, and also threat post. Okay. And also following influential experts. Okay. For instance, you're watching this video because you want to learn something new. So I would advise you keep that up in month five. Then of course, you have to continue your education. In case nobody told you before now, continuous learning is a big deal in cybersecurity. You may also need to enroll in advanced courses if you require it and then stay updated on current trends. According to a report by Cybersecurity Ventures, continue education and staying updated on current trends are key factors that distinguish top cybersecurity professionals from the rest. In month six, it's all about developing soft skills. Cyber security isn't just about technical skills. Communication, problem solving, and critical thinking are a few of the most important soft skills for a cyber security expert. And here is why. Let's look at the reasons. Having good communication skills makes it easier to explain complex security issues to non-technical stakeholders. You're going to be discussing with non-technical stakeholders and if you begin to reel out technical jargons to them, you will lose them. They won't understand. So that is very important. Another one is problem solving skills. Problem solving helps you find solutions to prevent and also to respond to threats. While critical thinking is also vital for analyzing data and making decisions based on that. And those are just a few of the soft skills that employers are looking out for. See, a report by Bonnie Glass Technologies, they highlight that jobs requiring these soft skills, they pay more and are in higher demand. Another interesting piece of data I found says that communication, 58%, critical thinking, 54%, problem solving skill, 49%, teamwork, 45%, and attention to detail, 36%, they come in as the top five skills that employers are seeking in cybersecurity job candidate. Now, let's talk about the uncommon hack I mentioned earlier in this video, and that is mastering open source intelligence techniques, okay? OSINT, as it is popularly called, involves gathering information from publicly available sources to help in cybersecurity tasks like pen testing, okay? Threat hunting, and even vulnerability assessment. Now, these are the steps you will need to follow. Number one, data collection. You need to learn how to collect data from social media, public database, and other open sources. Tools like uh, Mot Eagle, 
Shodan and the Avesta are great starting points. Now, talking about analytical skills, develop your ability to analyze the collected data to identify patterns, potential threats, and the vulnerabilities. See, real world application is very important. Like you cannot deny that. You use your OSINT techniques in capture the flag competitions, red teaming exercises, and also threat assessment to gain potential edge. It's a skill set that is highly sought after, but often overlooked by many professionals. See, by mastering open source intelligence, you can provide deeper insights during security assessment and making you an invaluable asset to any cyber security team. So guys, that is all I have for you today. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please kindly do so now and like and share it with everyone that you know. I believe we can all agree that staying ahead of the 99% is about dedication, continuous learning, and then strategic planning. I know you have what it takes, trust me. I believe in you. I know you have what it takes. Get to work and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.